Hi, my name is Tom Wheeler, and I develop training for Temporal. Hey, I'm Dominic Torno. I'm a principal engineer here at Temporal. Hi, Dominic. As I've been working with Temporal and reading through the documentation, I noticed the concept of determinism popping up in the context of workflows. I'd like to discuss this with you. Well, before we talk about Temporal's notion of determinism, we have to talk about Temporal's notion of a workflow. What is a workflow? And uh, in Temporal, a uh, workflow is a sequence of steps. And particularly important for this interview is that Temporal is a sequence of steps where each step is either an internal step or an external step. What do you mean by internal and external? So internal steps must not have any side effects and external steps can have side effects. So internal steps represent the orchestration aspect of a workflow and external steps represent the execution aspect of a workflow. And an external step is represented by a temporal command. So for example, schedule activity or schedule timer. So when you say side effects, are you referring to IO operations like file system access or network access, like calling out to a database or some upstream service? Yeah, that's right. And those go into temporal activities. Now, temporal guarantees that the sequence of commands will be executed observably equivalent to exactly once. Since it's impossible to guarantee exactly once execution, the strongest execution guarantee we can make is the effectively once execution guarantee, right? Yes, that's right. And from the point of view of a developer, that is an invaluable guarantee. Why is that? Well, as distributed system engineers, we are confronted with many challenges. And many of these challenges are rooted in unreliable execution environments. So, for example, our systems face adverse effects like execution time limits or execution failures. For example, service calls have time limits. Maybe they're a few seconds, even several minutes. Whatever the duration, there's some time limit. And then there's the possibility of failure because machines crash and packets get reordered or duplicated or entirely lost. Yeah, that's right. However, since Temporal guarantees effectively once execution, you get to enjoy a delightful developer experience because you can literally develop your system as if time limits and failures don't even exist. But time limits and failures do still exist. Yeah, well, of course. However, Temporal is able to mitigate time limits and failures on a platform level, so making them entirely invisible on an application level. That's impressive. But then why do we need to talk about determinism? Well, in order to make this work, Temporal needs determinism. So logically, your workflow executes in the absence of time limits and in the absence of failures. However, physically, your function executes in the presence of time limits and in the presence of failure. So if a workflow execution mapped to exactly one function execution, the workflow execution would be terminated if the function execution terminated. That is correct. If we left that unchecked, that would violate our effectively once execution guarantee because it would constitute a partial execution guarantee, which is really not much of any guarantee at all. Not much of any guarantee at all, correct. And to address that, Temporal implements a restart and replay based execution model. So for a workflow execution that terminates because its function execution terminated, we restart the function execution from the very beginning and deterministically replay the sequence of commands. How does this deterministic replay work? So during a function execution, whenever we encounter a command for the very first time, we memoize the command, that is, we store its result. If the current function execution is terminated before it completes, so it's terminated before its time, so to say, we need to restart the function execution. Now, whenever we encounter a command, that has previously been executed, we don't execute that command again 
We simply return its stored result. So determinism makes it possible to replay an execution after a timeout or failure by precisely reproducing the state of the execution up to the time of timeout or failure and then continuing execution. And I'll bet that temporal workers use caching so they can efficiently support even the largest of workflows. That is correct. So uh, in summary, you need to ensure that internal steps are deterministic by restricting your code to strictly deterministic steps. And temporal ensures that your external steps are deterministic by simply memoizing the result of commands. Now I understand the concept, but what does this mean in practice? Are there certain things that you cannot do inside a workflow? Yes, indeed, there are obligations. So you must ensure that every function execution contributing to one workflow execution emits the same sequence of commands. So for example, the sequence of commands must not depend on thread scheduling or system time or random numbers, for example. Okay, I can see how multi-threading system time or random numbers could make your workflow execution non-deterministic. But what if I actually need to use those things in my workflow? Well, for languages that support multi-threading, our SDKs provide multi-threading primitives that mimic the language primitives, but ensure deterministic thread scheduling. And for anything else, like for example, system time or random numbers, our language SDKs provide deterministic counterparts. Well, we've covered a lot of ground, so I want to recap. A temporal workflow is a sequence of steps that represent both the orchestration and execution of the code we want to run. The temporal platform lets developers code as if failures and timeouts do not exist at the application level, and also provides a valuable effectively once execution guarantee. It's able to do this because it uses a restart and replay model that recreates the exact state of an application before a failure. In return, developers must ensure that their workflow code does not have any side effects. Code that needs to interact with a file system or network must be run within an activity. Also, the workflow must avoid working with threads, system time, or random numbers, since these have the potential to generate different results each time the code is executed. Temporal SDKs offer safe alternatives for many of these operations. Dominic, I understand that you've also been working on a formalization of Temporal's execution model and formalization of Temporal's notion of determinism. Yes, I have. I will post the link to the formal model in the comments for this interview. Dominic, thank you for your time. I look forward to our next discussion. Thank you, Tom. Same here.